Hi, this is Dave from DeBelly, uh, NAM 2017. Today we're talking to Stephen McSwain, McSwain Guitars. Welcome to NAM. Thank you very much. Welcome to McSwain Guitars. <laughs> you have some eye-catching designs, artistic approach to guitars. This is beautiful work. Tell me about it. Thanks, Dave. Well, I've been building um, different kind of things for, gosh, since probably 91, 92, and where it started with just um, buying aftermarket an aftermarket body, carving faces in it, you know, I decided, wow, I could actually buy some tools and, and, and some wood and do this myself. So came up with my own shape, which is still very familiar yet different. And then headstock shape, which is always a, a challenge. And I, that's, that was years ago, and I just kept just doing it and doing it. And it started out by like just ma mainly hand carving designs into the guitar wood and things. And then I started experimenting with metal and, you know, strictly for aesthetics to begin with. But then the combination of the sheet metal and the wood makes just an incredible difference in the tone of the guitar and the sustain. So, you know, for recording, it's noticeably different from, you know, some of the uh, other standard guitars that the producers that I've built for have used. And they say, we love this one because it has such a unique characteristic. We use it on every recording, whether it's heavy metal or country or jazz or whatever, you get just this unique tone from it. So, but I just, you know, not only, I come from an approach as a guitar builder uh, or a guitar player to building. You have to have a great guitar that plays and sounds good first and foremost. And then you throw in all this crazy stuff that makes it your own like, whoa, what's that guy playing? You know, so, or what's that girl playing? So that's where, you know, I came up with uh, designs like the flag design. And, you know, the flag is such a ubiquitous thing that everybody sees it and everybody's very, you know, very, it evokes an emotion, you know, so. I had never seen a flag design that I really liked on a guitar, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do my own. So, started doing the metal, and the stars are cast. I'll, I'll, you know, carve the master out of wax, and then I'll make have a mold made, shoot the wax, have the uh, metal cast, and I'll either do them in sterling silver or brass or copper or bronze, and so you, there's options. Skull stars, and then I'll put three 57 Magnum shell casings in some of them, like this one. The guitar probably snuck up off you on the wall. You didn't really see it hiding back there. <laughs> Which I, I like to call this one the uh, the red, white, and bullets. So, you know, it's got the bullet shells in the star. Uh, arcane pickups that are humbuckers that I split the coil so you get some, you know, a lot of versatility from the guitar. Uh, solid wood on this one. Some are tone chambered mahogany. Um, just got a patent on this, the aluminum which is, uh, we're calling the tone layer. And what it is, is basically an aluminum channel that screws and glues to the neck, and then you inlay the fretboard into it. So it's the wood with the metal, and it's about a millimeter thick of aluminum that runs down the length of the neck. And so it, it transfers much more vibration down the neck. So it's been a really cool thing, and, and I you know started doing that in a variation on different uh, on different necks, like some have a full channel, some have partial channels, some have just a binding. So it's it's a pretty neat effect. But of course, if you're going to have something like this, you don't want to put it on just a regular guitar stand or hook. So I started doing wall pieces to hang them on too. So we got. So there you go. Beautiful, it fits in there. And it was, as we were talking before the camera came on, that thing hides in that flag. You almost don't notice it at first. It's, just, it's, it's such a fun piece, you know, because you like it and you're like, is that actually, and you take it off and go, oh my God, I can gig with this and I still have a piece of art on my wall. Like, all right, so everybody wins. My wife doesn't get mad at me when I take the guitar off the wall. And there you have a beautiful piece of art too. Well, I say beautiful, you know, but anyway. That aluminum, that aluminum addition into your neck, that's very innovative, and I'm sure that does a lot for the resonance quality, and you'll be able to hold it in tone forever. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, so thank you. What kind of pickups are you using? I've been using Arcane. Um, uh, Rob Timmons is out of uh, North Hollywood, and he's just a great guy and has done due diligence over the years of really figuring out a lot of tone, so he's, he's been really cool. And you know, talking to some other people about doing some things, but uh, mainly been using Arcane. Just great product, and he always delivers, and gets me stuff when I need it and, and the right stuff, you know, and does specific windings for me that'll, you know, enhance the aluminum on top of the guitar that, that melds with the metal, so, uh, the metal in the wood. So it's, it's really cool. Beautiful work. Thanks for your time today. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate it. <laughs> Have a good show. Thank you.